Well, to talk more about this, we're joined by the chief executive of the CMI, Anne Frank. Anne Frank, um, half of respondents uh, think that it's all going too fast. Well, why? Is there an explanation? Well, I think the explanation is um, quite apparent. Um, as we know, cases are uh, surging. There are, uh, uh, there are um, 50,000, uh, and of course, Britain now has um, the highest, the third highest uh, number of cases in the world. Um, and equally, uh, we also know uh, that um, many, many, many people are being contacted. I think it's up 46% week on week and asking to uh, self-isolate. Indeed, um, um, uh, the Secretary of State for Health, for example, uh, has contacted COVID and the Prime Minister has been asked to um, self-isolate. So the disease is still very prevalent amongst us and um, it is creating a lot of anxiety for many people, including many managers. It's odd though, isn't it? Because um, business leaders are complaining on the one hand that uh, they're facing crisis because they can't get everybody back to work, but half of them are now saying, oh, it, it, it's all too quick. What, what, what should we really take from that? Well, I think what we need to take from this is that this pandemic is, um, is complex. There is not a one-size-fits-all solution. And uh, what business leaders need to do is assess their own situation carefully and uh, put in place measures that will resonate for their workforce, their employees, and their customers. Um, so, for example, if you are in a workplace that requires people to be on site, such as um, a restaurant or a hotel, then it makes absolute perfect sense that you should be able to um, ask people to take daily lateral flow tests um, and, uh, you know, be able to come into work if those tests are negative. If you're in a, a workplace such as services that um, can work very productively remotely, well, then actually you should um, embrace the, the more uh, flexible working policies. And we know many managers want to continue flexible working post-pandemic. Um, how do you think business managers are, going to, uh, managers are going to feel this morning when they see that, um, as far as one can make out, Prime Minister and Chancellor can get on with their business, come what may, um, but frankly doesn't look like they'll be able to get their people in and doing the jobs in the way they would like them to. Yeah, and that's where it's very important that things like this uh, pilot scheme to give people the option to test, take a lateral flow test and go into work, it's very important that that's extended to um, businesses that require on-site presence. Um, I think that uh, the other thing I would say is that it's really important that employers engage with their employees and set um, a framework um, so that people understand uh, what their uh, employers are going to be doing and give the employees a say in that um, and, and re recognise there is not a one-size-fits-all solution to how we operate in COVID. Um, uh, just finally, uh, one of the most striking things to me in these findings is that uh, two of the findings that suggest that changes that were forced by COVID may become permanent. Three quarters say they'll continue with COVID measures and two thirds say they expect some or all of the staff to work remotely. Do you think that's the new normal? Well, absolutely. I think what's a, a, a good thing about uh, the pandemic is it's forced us to reevaluate our working practices and in many cases modernize them. We know that 85% um, of managers would like to continue with hybrid working. Indeed, 83% are working, working hybrid at the moment. Um, and that actually can be a more um, productive and more enjoyable and a more inclusive way of working. And so really we mustn't allow the, the good changes in working practices to um, uh, slip back to the way it was. We have a great opportunity to create a better workplace culture. And Frank, thank you very much indeed for your time this morning. Thank you.